What is up everybody? Today we're gonna to talk about how to recover a lost, a damaged, or just a corrupt project file that you lost in almost any Adobe product. This could be Illustrator, After Effects, Premiere, basically any project that you're working on has this feature and some of them may just not have this feature in general so the first thing you're going to want to do is figure out where you saved your project now if you're in premiere pro you can look at your scratch disk by going to file project settings scratch disk and this will tell you where everything is saved other programs have different ways of doing it, but basically it should be in the same folder or area as the place you saved your project. Now, once you have that figured out, you can go ahead and go into your Finder or your Explorer, whether you're Windows or Mac, and find that exact folder that it was saved in. And you should have a folder or just more files for project files. Uh, for autosave and they should have unique names like you know a date and time next to it or something along those lines and you'll want to find the most recent one and for me this would have been one that's around seven minutes ago um, at the very top here you can even sort by date modified and you'll find the most recent one and this is how you will open the most recently saved file that was available until your computer either crashed or Adobe did, etc. And this should bring you to the most recent one so that you don't have to start all over from scratch or way, way back from the beginning. Uh, so hopefully this tip helped you and saved you a little bit of time. And this again does work in most Adobe programs, whether it's Illustrator, After Effects, Photoshop, etc. You can also change these settings if you go into the actual program settings or preferences and it should be a setting under autosave. It's an entire tab and you can change the frequency. So how often the autosave autosaves as well as how many project files it'll keep until it replaces the oldest one. Uh, and there should also be a few other autosave options that you can go through and figure out like saving uh, one to the cloud just in case your entire like hard drive crashes but this is a very beneficial thing for anybody that lost a file or something crashed and that happens so hopefully this helped you and hopefully this was beneficial and if it was feel free to hit the subscribe button down below and uh, i'll see you on the next one